Don't let those narcissistic past friends back in your life. They're going to block your blessings. They're not for you, so they are against you. Do not take them back. Start a new life, new opportunities, new people who you can build with, who bless you, and you bless them. Not with people who only take, take, take. They take your kindness for weakness. They want to take your money. They want to take your energy. They want to be like you, but they can't be like you. They can't do what you do. And they don't want to learn. They don't want to listen. You don't have time to waste your time, attention, and love on these people when they don't love you back. They pretend to be your friend, but they're not. They're fake. They're jealous. And it's better to be alone, to mind your own business, to be with yourself and with God, to go train and to do your thing, do business, make some money, but don't take them close. You can't let people get too close to you. You have to keep them on a distance. Because you take them close, they will stab you in the back. They're snakes. Once a snake, always a snake. You can't take a snake into your home, into your zone. Because they will snake around. So do not let them back. Let them go. They're meant to not be in your life. You're meant to be alone and to focus on yourself and to isolate and, and build yourself up to become the man, the woman you need to be. You're not supposed to be around bad and negative people who don't do better for themselves and who don't want you to do good. And when you grow as a person, when you do better, when you do what you like and when you feel good, they try to stop you because they're envious that they can't be like you and that they can't do it like you do it. You do it different. You do it better. They can't just give you the Love, you deserve and the respect. And you have to fight for everything. And it's not like you compare yourself to other people, but they be comparing themselves to you in a narcissistic way because that's how people are these days. They're so fake and evil and wicked. It doesn't matter the memories you have. It was the past, that was the memories. People change, you change. People change for the better, some for the worst, but we all can change. It's time for a change, to let go of your past and uh, be by yourself, stay by yourself and surround yourself with the right people and they will come at the right time. It's good that you see, that you go through things. That you see who these people are. You can't be stuck at the same place, at the same work, with the same people. Holding you down. You can't fit in. You can't be you. You need to belittle yourself all the time. Do not belittle yourself. You are in control of yourself. You are the leader. You are the man. You are the leader in a good way. Not like the chef. I control everyone and everything. You are good. You are kind. You are...
strong you are, humble, and all of those things a real true leader should have. But we're going to go in on that leader video another day. I got the idea now about to be a leader, but let him go and go on with your life by yourself, your way. And let the old go and welcome the new. So the past was the past and they are not here in your life anymore. And people go, people die, people disappear. And uh, new people come in your life, you go your way. And you can't take everyone on your path. Because it's a lonely path. It's a narrow path. It's a path that you have to take by yourself. To find yourself and find who you really are and why you're here. And in fact, most people will only hold you back. So let them all go and keep going. Don't fall back. Do not be distracted. And go on towards the future. God bless.